This is the Cholo News Report for Saturday 20, April, 2019. Media reports indicate former United States Vice President and Senator Joe Biden has decided that next week he will announce his participation in the race for Democratic Party's nomination in the 2020 United States presidential election. The primary, Biden believes, will be easier than some might think. He sees a clear path down the middle of the party, especially with Bernie Sanders occupying a solid 20% of the progressive base, and most of the other candidates fighting for the rest. On Thursday afternoon, Biden was in Boston, where he joined the picketing of the stop shop supermarket chain by the United Food and Commercial Workers, in his third appearance with a union crowd in the past six weeks. After Obama upset Hillary Clinton to win the nomination, he sought to balance out the ticket by tapping Biden as his running mate, bringing on board an experienced legislator and foreign policy expert. While Biden has become an elder statesman, who could be an antidote to the chaotic Trump era, his long track record also features past support for policies, now anathema to broad swathes of the Democratic electorate. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler issues a subpoena to the Justice Department for by May 1st, the full, unredacted version of the Mueller report, and for the underlying grand jury evidence and testimony. The Attorney General's offer to allow committee members a chance to view a less redacted version of the report does not meet the committee's needs and was not accepted. Justice Department spokeswoman Kerry Kupek said Barr's decision to release Mueller's report with minimal redaction underscored his drive for transparency. At least 13 people are killed and 29 others are injured when a wall collapses in Mpanjini, South Africa, at the start of an Easter service at a Pentecostal church. Local officials have blamed the tragedy on heavy rainfall in the area around Mpanjini on Thursday night. On Friday, a special prayer service was held in a large tent in front of the church, reports the Enka TV station. Mountain climbers Jess Roskley David Lommer, and Hans Jorb all are suspected dead after an avalanche on House Peak in Canada's Banff National Park. The trio was attempting a challenging route up the mountain known as M16, said Eli Frankovich, an outdoors reporter with the Spokesman Review newspaper in Spokane, Wash, where Roskilly is from. Parks Canada said in a release Thursday that officials had responded by air and observed signs of multiple avalanches and debris containing climbing equipment. The east face of House Peak is remote, and an exceptionally difficult objective, with mixed rock and ice routes requiring advanced alpine mountaineering skills. The Royal Thai Navy is planning to remove a house that was allegedly constructed illegally 12 miles. In a promotional video posted to YouTube in March, El Watoski toasts his partner with champagne on the roof of their ocean dwelling.